Hi, my name is Gwen Peterson, and I don't know if you've seen me from some other live videos that I have done about um, how to raise your kid <laughs> and not um, make them feel like they can't play well because you're giving them way too much negative feedback instead of positive. In one of the videos I did uh, recently, I had um, people, I talked about what supplements to give your kids um, to protect their muscles or to repair their muscles. And I've had so many people direct messaging me, asking me questions. I figured I would just kind of do a video about that. Um, I'm personally a health coach. I help people lose weight. I, I'm not a personal trainer, so I don't help people build muscles. But because I have so many coaches on my team that are personal trainers, and my clients, once they lose weight, they really start working out heavy. I know the ins and outs that I have been doing with my daughter, who's a competitive cheerleader, and then my boy, who's 12, and playing baseball on way too many teams right now. So the first thing that you'll hear, um, if you think about it, when you go to the gym and there's guys lifting, like squatting 500 pounds, they always are drinking out of a shaker bottle, right? Like, But you probably don't know what they put in there. So normally in a blender bottle, and I brought like the stuff out of my pantry, and by the way, I buy all of my stuff from Amazon or GNC, so I'm not selling anything here. This is what I buy. My company doesn't even sell supplements like this. So, um, so the first thing that normally they have in their blender bottle is a branch chain amino acid. And um, there's two different ones that I like or my kids like because of the way that they taste. So this is the okay Optimal Nutrition brand, the ON brand. Um, and then the other one is the, the, the Muscle Farm. Personally, I like, I like this one better. My son likes this one better. They taste different. Well, I kind of joke they taste like flavored aspirin. So you, you're going to have to figure out the combo that your kid likes in order to be willing to drink it. So basically, the three things that I put in the bottle is first, a BCAA, a branch chain amino acid. So branch chain amino acids, what they do is they absorb into the muscle. So when you're exercising, your body doesn't fuel on the muscle. It only fuels on the excess fat. Well, if, the, if your kid doesn't have a lot of fat, at least this is going to protect the kid's muscle, right? So again, any BCAA will do. You just want to make sure the milligrams, because cheaper is not better, because the cheaper normally only has like 2,500 milligrams of BCAAs, and both of these brands that you can get on Amazon are um, five, 500 or 5,000 milligrams per scoop. So you're shooting for about 5,000 milligrams per scoop. So normally what I do is I take my shaker bottle and I put ice in there, and then I will put a scoop of BCAAs in there to protect the muscle. Then the next thing that I do is um, put electrolytes in there, because as you guys know, you want to be drinking, you're shoving Gatorade in your kid, but you don't want to fill this with Gatorade. It would be really too sweet. So normally what I do is my kids, I buy these by the case on Amazon, the Propel packets. So I do a scoop of the BCAA. I open up one of these little packets and I dump it in there. Or I've also gotten this. Um, my daughter likes this. It's another electrolyte replacement like the Propel or Gatorade. My daughter likes this. My son doesn't. My son likes this. So again, you play with the combos until you figure it out. Then um, the, the last thing you want to put in the bottle is um, glutamine. What glutamine does is it absorbs into the muscle so the lactic acid can't. And that's how you see these guys lifting hardcore at the gym and they're working out hard. And they're like, if you and I went and lifted hard, we would barely be able to lower ourselves on the toilet because our legs would be hurting so bad the next day. And you see those big, huge dudes lifting every, every day. It's because in their bottles, they have BCAAs, electrolytes to replace the electrolytes they're sweating out, and the glutamine so that the lactic acid can't settle in there. So what you want to do is do that. And by the way, um, I just ran out, but I also, the glutamine that my son likes is the also this Muscle Farm one from Amazon. Um, I do have this one that I also got on Amazon. Um, let's see, right there. And it has the BCAAs and the glutamine together. My daughter likes it. My son doesn't. Again, it's a game to figure out which blend they like the best. So again, a scoop of BCAAs, an electrolyte of some sort, and glutamine to repair their muscles. Now, the way that this will absorb into the muscles 
and think about it, you as an adult, when you go to the gym, normally you go eat a protein bar or a protein shake going to the gym. You need to do that with your kid also if you want your kid's muscle to, muscles to be protected. So basically, the way that this absorbs best into the muscles is if they eat protein prior to drinking this before and during their games. So when my son has a game day, I, I, eat, I try to have him drink one of these before and during the game and then one after or one earlier in the day. I try to do two bottles of this. And again, go research what I'm saying. Don't take my word for it. Um, this is just what I've learned from a lot of my personal trainer coaches that are health coaches on my team. So if your kid does not like um, uh, does not like uh, protein, here's a couple, yes, Peggy Wright, BCAAs, electrolytes of some sort, and glutamine. And like I said, the glutamine my son likes is this Muscle Farm brand from Amazon. Again, you can get it from GNC. They're about the same price. And then my daughter, she lets me use the one that has the BCAAs and the electro BCAAs and the glutamine in there. Again, so those three. But for these to work effectively, they need to be drinking protein first. So I'll show you what just is in my pantry and in my fridge. So this one is a goofy, very goofy thing. It's you can get this at um, Costco. I think Sam's Club has it at all. It's protein water. Now, please do not combine the two. I tried that. It tasted awful. So this is kind of like a protein drink, but it's like fruit juice without sugar. So it's 90 calories and only one carb, but it has 20 grams of protein. So my daughter loves these. My son doesn't. Again, what you do. So here's the other options. Um, now, again, are these the cleanest protein drinks? Heck no. They're not organic. They're not high level. If you, Some people want that level for their kids. Trust me, would I love my kids to drink all the organic stuff and be uber healthy? Yes, but that's not my world. That's not my kids. So at least I do the best I can. So also the Premier Protein brand. This is my favorite um, flavor. It's cookies and cream. Um, they also have a vanilla and they have a peach and they have, um, did I bring the chocolate? Yeah, then, and then uh, the ch chocolate. If you're going to buy these, buy these in cases from Sam's Club or Costco, they are horrendously expensive from the grocery store in a pack of four. So again, see what your kid will drink. They're, I love these because I just fill my fridge full of them and then they go and grab them. So my son doesn't like these all as much as my teenage daughter. So for him, dun, 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 remember the people in the nursing homes, how they're drinking insurers? This one I really like because it has 16 grams of protein, but it also has 19 carbs. So it gives them energy while they're working out. So depending on what your goal is, is which kind of protein drink you'd want. All of these are really low in carbs. For, so for somebody that's trying to lose weight, these are really great because they're not pumping them full of carbs, but they're protecting their muscles. Where if you're going to work out hard, your body's gonna burn those 16 carbs. So big deal, right? So my son lives on these. And so the best way, in my opinion, is I teach my kids, if you want to get your metabolism running, you drink a protein something or eat a protein something within 30 minutes of waking up because when you wake up, your blood sugar is low. So the sooner you can bring your blood sugar up, the faster your body starts and the metabolism, start, metabolism starts going. So my kids just, my fridge is chock full of protein drinks because in the morning they hate to eat, but I can get them to get these down. Now my teenage daughter has also, these are these are expensive, so I'm trying to get her off of these, but I know how yummy they are. So this is in the cold section over by the salad dressings, the Bolt House Farms. These are protein drinks. And again, this one has 16 protein, 20 carbs. If you're trying to lose weight, depending on what your goals and your macros are, this may or may not be a great choice. But for my daughter that right now is cheering eight hours a day at cheer camp, or my boy that's drinking or doing double headers, those 20 carbs are going to burn like hotcakes, right? So again, what is your kid like? Find the protein that works. So the clean protein, um, oh, and by the way, bars, let's talk bars for a second if your kid won't drink the chalky shakes. And again, these are not that bad. But okay, so my teenage daughter, I don't love these because they're full of 15 grams of sugar, but again, their kids, they're burning it. Um, this thing tastes like a candy bar. They're like $2.50 at my grocery store. They're expensive, but again, if you're putting protein in your kid, protein, protein's expensive. So this is the protein bar that my teenager loves. I personally don't love it as much because it has 14 grams of fat. Again, if they're exercising hard, they're gonna burn the fat. 
It has 14 grams of fat, but it has and it has 18 protein, but 25 carbs. So again, what's your goal? If you want your kid to have energy during their game, give them something with carbs and protein. They need the protein to let these BCAAs absorb. But if you throw carbs in, no big deal. They're going to burn. Us adults, if we throw carbs in and we ate these every three hours, we'd be gaining weight. <laughs> Let's be honest. So our company, the one that I like my kids to use if they if they're grabbing something to go, is these op these Optavia bars. I like them. You you have to order them through a coach like like me. Um, but the reason why I like these is because they're only two and a half grams of fat. They have um, eleven protein and fourteen carbs. But uh, but four of those carbs are fiber. So you're really getting. 10 sugar so anyway so again that's the goal is to get that protein in prior i'll show you a couple other things that are in my pantry again you kind of have to figure out what works for your kids and what doesn't for me i've also liked like this you can get this at the in the um grocery store on on amazon um again i kind of somehow default to this optimal nutrition this on brand both of these come in um and on amazon and this one I think is only on Amazon. This one I think is grocery store and all of that. So does that, so throw a one in the comments if this is like over your head and you're like, what the heck is she saying? Or if it's kind of making sense going, okay, before my kid plays, I need to throw protein in of some sort. And of course, if you could get them to eat a chicken salad or a chicken breast or cottage cheese or cheese sticks, more power to you. Most of us that have kids that are like, <sighs> you're coming up with these alternate protein sources. So before your kid goes and works out or plays, get protein in their body if you can. Then prior to and during, you want to give the, the shaker bottle with, with the BCAAs, the electrolytes of some sort, and glutamine. BCAA to protect their muscles while they're working out, the electrolytes to replace what they're burning or have them drink a Gatorade on the side, and then the glutamine so that they don't have sore muscles after. So one last thing that I'll throw in, um, this is something new to me, um, and I haven't tested it out, but I just bought it on Amazon and in the workout world, this is kind of a big topic right now. So these are called liquid IV. So what it's claiming is if you put one stick in a 16 ounce uh, glass of water, it's like you've drank three 16 ounce water bottles. So when my son plays tomorrow, I think what I'm going to do is in the shaker bottle with the branched chain amino acids and the glutamine, I'm going to chuck one of these in there and see if he likes it. But of course, whenever, whenever I chuck something different in there, he either will drink it and he likes it or it tastes awful. And then I have to dump the whole thing out and start over. So, um, Throw a two in the comments if this is something that's really interesting to you and you're thinking, okay, I never thought about my 10 or 12 year old that I should be protecting their muscles. The, the thing that you need to understand is your kid is an athlete. As the parent, if you are not protecting their muscles, like my 12 U kid, I'm putting stuff like this in his body, but he's a catcher. They don't, as we all talked about out there, they're not counting my kids throws and he's been short arming which his coach has been telling him not to well finally his body told him no more short arming so we've been working on how to reduce inflammation and the bcaas the glutamine and the electrolytes are totally helping repair the inflammation that's going on in his arm um, and we're resting the arm a little bit and of course we're doing ice and things like that so the other thing if your kid is dealing with uh, soreness in muscles and it's not a tear it's not a break right we all have kids that are just overusing their arms the uh, if you're the cha branch chain amino acids the, the glutamine number one if your kid is sore chuck the glutamine in there glutamine repairs the muscles then the other thing is turmeric turmeric paired with black um, black pepper you can buy them in pills again on Amazon both of those things reduce inflammation. So if your kid's arm is hurting and you're trying the Advil, Advil is fixing the pain. It's not fixing the problem. If your kid is in pain, you better as the parent step up because when that ibuprofen doesn't work and that, um, that Tylenol isn't working, what's your next step? You do not want your kid on pain pills because if they're 10, 12, or 14 and they're getting all these opportunities to play if your kid's halfway decent and you let them live on Advil, Tylenol, or let's pray you're not giving your kid Oxy through the pain, your kid will not be playing in two years. Mark my words. So get them in with a sports medicine doctor. 
get the glutamine pumping in to, to try to repair those muscles like the heavy duty bodybuilders and go start taking anti-inflammatory supplements like the turmeric with the with the black powder um you can also do um cumin is another good one and then um another really weird one is um as uh slippery elm bark again i know this is crazy stuff and maybe you might feel this is witchcraftery but again if you are past the point of return and your kid is already in pain you've got to figure out how to reduce inflammation and go Google how to repair arthritis pain, guys. That is what will do it, is what you do for arthritis is reduce inflammation. If your kid is hurting, you reduce the inflammation. Not, I mean, of course, again, Tylenol, Advil, um, anything like that, but if your kid needs more than those over-the-counter things, you've got to figure out how to repair that muscle. So the glutamine, the turmeric, the, um, the black powder, all those things, the, the, the pepper, those are the things, but Get protein in your body, in your kid's body before they play, if you at all possible can. Get the BCAAs to protect their muscle. Repair, replace those electrolytes so they're not dizzy or lightheaded. And then get that glutamine in so that they don't get lactic acid settling. And that glutamine will help repair the muscles that automatically tear while they're working out. So comment below if you have any questions at all, because I know that this is a really, um, yes, reducing turmeric and black pepper. Um, because guys, this is not a topic people normally talk about unless they're 80 and have arthritis and in pain. But all of you in this baseball moms group, I know you want the best for your kids, but this might be knowledge that you just don't have. And I'm lucky that I gained 50 pounds and had to find a company to help me lose the 50 pounds by balancing my nutrition. And by default, I am now a health coach helping a lot of people do the same. And part of the coaches that have come on board are hardcore personal trainers that have taught me this stuff. Because if I can't protect my kids' muscles, are they going to go to the majors? Probably not. Do I want them to have the opportunity to play in college or at least the high school team? Heck yeah. But when you have a kid that's 12 and they're good, if they're a catcher or a pitcher, your kid, if you don't do this kind of stuff and help their arm, you are not going to see them in high school ball because they will have burnt their arm out. So I hope this um, helped you guys. Please comment below if you have any questions on how to protect these kids' muscles. I know I talked in a lot of circles, but I wanted to make sure you guys could see all these goofy protein options to put in your kids before. And then, like I said, go on Amazon, pull up BCAAs, pull up glutamine, order some, play with it, see what combo your kid likes, because the reality is if it doesn't taste good to their liking, they're not going to do it. And that's why I use the Propel as my buffer, because Propel comes in a couple different flavors. And that way I can tweak the flavors of the BCAAs and the glutamine based on what they're willing to drink. And have I dumped out a lot of these as I'm trying to figure out each kid's mix? Yes, but trust me, I'm willing to dump these out all day long till I find their mix because I'm protecting their muscles and I want them to have every opportunity in life to play as hard and as long as they want. But if I don't be the parent in this situation and protect their muscles, they're never gonna have those future opportunities or what do you think is going to happen? They're going to be on Oxy and trying to do steroid shots and all sorts of crap to their body because when they were young, their parent didn't know how to protect their muscles. So um, hope this spoke to some of you guys. Please comment if you have any questions. And um, uh, please let me know what combo your kid likes and what's working for you because I know I'm always playing the different game. And that's why I have five different protein powders and drinks in my pantry because they get bored. They get you got to keep switching it up. So hope you guys are having a great baseball week. And um, let me know if there's any other topic you'd like me to discuss because I've just had so many people reaching out to me individually asking to make a video about this specifically. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.